the complexities of dealing with modern life are so great that it's simpler not to. Uh, people aren't designed to live in this kind of a culture. And that's why people are having so many weird sicknesses and illnesses, for example. Yes, the combinations that are coming up definitely do suggest that the common person could become, a rad could become radicalized to some extent. Ideally, they become enlightened radicalized rather than knee-jerk radicalized. Unfortunately, the masses do have a tendency to go to extremes. So you go from the oppressive French monarchy to the terror in a few years' time. Uh, it would be very good if we had leaders that were sufficiently enlightened to prevent that. Not to prevent the change, but to prevent the change from being crazy. And unfortunately, craziness is also inherent in this combination, but not inevitable. It's just, if you don't do anything, it will be crazy. If we do something, if we, if we have a, okay now, okay, now we need a charismatic leader. I'm not going to name names on this one, that's a little too controversial. But uh, we do need a charismatic leader who can in some way embody in his humanity the aspirations of the people. This is the time when you need those people. Unfortunately, about 50% of the charismatic leaders in history have also been crooks. Um, uh, the, the candidates at the moment certainly don't fall into that category, at least not in the blatant way. Um, so I think that's okay. But we do need leaders who embody in, somehow, in some way the aspirations of the people. And I don't mean that as corny. It's a real human archetypal principle. It's why kings came into being. Do you know what the word king means? It comes from the same root as the word kin. The king is the leader of the kinship. In fact, the original word in, in uh, English was uh, kinning, the participle of a verb. <laughs> so we need, in that sense and only in that sense, a king. We need, and, and, and another interesting distinction here is we need a king, not a rex. The Latin word means he who directs or gives structure to. The English word means he who embodies the people. That, the Germanic root means he who embodies the people. The other name for king in Germanic languages is Theoden, which means the people. So there's always this connection in, in Germanic thought. When you get more, two planet combinations repeat regularly, three planet combinations repeat occasionally. When you get four or five or six planet, six combination factors, factor combinations, uh, it would be hard to find a repetition within thousands of years. Uh, at the moment, we can calculate planetary positions with reasonable precision for approximately 6,000 years, about 3,000 years back, 3,000 years forward. Uh, after that, it begins to look like guesswork. <laughs> um, and I, I, I don't know of anything exactly like this. Uh, in 1345, 1345, there was a very unusual combination of the three conventional planets, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. They came so close together that they could not readily be distinguished by the naked eye. They looked like one giant star. That's the Black Death. That's the Black Death. Came, and, and not only that, it was forecast. That is, great plagues, losses of life among people and humans, uh, people and cattle, rather, uh, was forecast from that. Because it was in Aquarius, a human sign. <laughs>